Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce CP2 series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure global attributes in CPQ. So let's get started. So first I'm going to create an attribute on product option object. So in the object manager, I'm going to search for product option. And I'm creating an attribute specific for the smartwatch. So I'm creating the band type, whether it could be a rubber band or metallic. So for that, I'm creating a pick list field. I'm giving the name as band type or yeah, band type is fine. Two values, I'm giving it plan and rubber. Okay, click next. Visible to all profiles and save. Now next step would be to add this field, this band type field in the configuration attribute target field. Okay, so I'm gonna go to configuration attribute object. In the fields, I'm gonna open target field and in the values i'm gonna add the api name of this field so band type i'm gonna copy and i'll just add it and for both the records types i'm adding on it okay configuration and global both attributes click save now uh, come to the cpq application now first step is to create a global attribute so i'm gonna go to the configuration attributes and i'm gonna click new and record type i'm selecting as global attribute now when you are creating a global attribute only two parameters you need to provide one is the attribute name and one is the target field so attribute name i am giving first uh, target field would be our band type and attribute name i am giving it as band type global attribute okay now click save now second step would be to create a attribute set okay so i'm gonna create a new attribute set attribute set why uh, why am i creating let's say uh, for now we are just creating one single attribute that is band type you might have need for multiple attributes so that you can combine those attributes inside the attribute set and from attribute set you can connect them to specific product options okay so i am giving it names as a band type attribute set click save now come to the related list of the attribute set now here you can see two related lists are available one is attribute items and one is product attribute sets so attribute items is to connect different different multiple attributes to under this attribute set so we have created i'm gonna open this uh, a new tab so we have just created a global attribute as band type global attribute so that i'm gonna add inside this under this attribute set click new in the configuration attribute band type global attribute i'm selecting and sequence i'm giving it 10 sequence is nothing but uh, on which place it's gonna shown on the ui you can give 10 20 30 so 10 would be first then 20 will come then then 30 will come like that so i'm saving it now uh, that part is done now let's go to our product so our product is a smart watch band which is a bundle product okay not a smart watch band our product is a smart watch okay which is a bundle product it does have five options and two features 
now what you need to do is first click view all you need to uh, provide some value on each of the product option or you can leave it as blank as well you can go edit option uh, edit product option and there you can see this field which we have created on product option band type plan or rubber so i'm not putting any value into this we will do that from the quote line now what you will have to do is go to each product option and you need to connect this product option with the attribute set which we have created so this attribute set we have created under which we have our global attribute okay so i'm gonna go to the related list of product option so it already has one attribute to set attached to it i'm gonna attach our created attribute set so band type attribute set again sequence anything you can provide 10 i'm giving now similar thing you have to do for all the product options if you want to this uh, attribute to be available for all product options to provide some value from the quote line then you need to add it okay so i'm doing that for all of the product options now that work is completed so means your all of the five all five product options are now having uh, an attribute attached to them on ui side and as well as there is a field which we have already created so whatever value you are going to give on the ui to each, each option that is going to set on the product option record okay now uh, let's see it in action on our code so i'm gonna go to a code and just refresh it i'm gonna add this smartwatch product click select now as you can see all five product options are there okay and each option has a drawer inside it okay beneath it okay so in this drawer you can see that whichever uh, whichever attributes whichever global attributes or it could be uh, in your configuration attribute as well that will be present in there so brand type we have created and we have attached to all five product options so that you can see inside every option that is available okay so brand type is there under each and every option now let's say i am providing values to these two i should not have added under these options because it doesn't have like because these products are different these doesn't have anything to do with the brand type so only watch bands uh, features i should have added it but that's okay anyway we are just doing uh, some round of testing over here now click save so now as you can see uh, let's try something let's uh, save it and go to our quote so code uh, under the related list of code there is a related list of code lines so there you can see uh, whichever product you have selected on your code so let me just refresh it okay i'm gonna click from here okay now let's see it this is smartwatch band came here
it's possible that that field has not been added on here let's see uh, a field name was band type okay so that field is not on the layout but whatever value uh, you will give that will be stored on the product itself so let's try to do one thing let's see if we can add that field on quote line quote line and not on the fields on the field set you will have to go and uh, try line editor okay and the field which we have created on product option band type i'm selecting it click save now go back to your code refresh once and go back to edit lines so let's try to see okay let me try to edit again Okay, that is not coming over here. Let me cancel it once. Okay, let me see. Line editor fields displayed on edit lines page. standard line item draw let me try to add it in here as well product option band type over here save let's refresh it Okay, it's not coming probably there is some uh, some configuration which I'm missing but uh, uh, whatever value you are gonna select on an attribute that's gonna be saved on that uh, product uh, along with that product because that's what for you are uh, configuring the attribute so uh, let me summarize again the steps which I have gone through to add the global attribute so first I have created an attribute on the product option object okay an attribute to field basically on product option object then i have added the api name of that field on the configuration attribute object field target field okay then i have created uh, a global attribute and i have selected the uh, field api name under the target field for that then i have created uh, an attribute set and i have attached to the global attribute in under this attribute set and i have created mapping between all product options with this product set so as you can see product attribute sets it does have uh, this uh, uh, this link uh, with uh, this attribute set and with each product option so similar way you can even select for any other product options under any other bundle so that's how you can use global attribute for any number n number of uh, products throughout your org so that was all about this video if you like it please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwan thank you